back to the channel guys i hope you guys are doing well in this week's video we're going to be doing some urban exploration around the city of carpe spain here specifically around la muralla roja where i had the pleasure of staying there for two days the first night i had the pleasure of photographing my wife and if you haven't seen that video it's going to be somewhere here but before you go there watch this video first and then go there and then watch my portrait experience that i had with my wife in this week's video i'm going to be basically exploring the Muralla Roa at a slower pace. I already had my first day in. I'm very excited to explore it on the second day just because I'm gonna go at a slower pace. I'm just gonna take my my time, capture unique perspectives, photos from my own point of view. I'm gonna be using the Leica SL2S with a 50 millimeter, and I'm gonna be using the Leica Q, my go-to camera for everything, basically, the wide angle. And then I'm gonna capture some um, detail shots with the 50 millimeter. This is why I had both. I didn't bring anything else just because I wanted to keep it light. I was trying to do the minimalistic approach using the fundamental values of photography, the fundamentals such as leading lines, subframing, playing with colors. In terms of gear, I used the Leica SL2S. On the Leica SL, I had a Minota Vintage 50mm lens, f1.7. I used this lens as my detail and the one that I was going to be closing in. Uh, as my wide or my establishing shot, I used the Leica Q, which has a 28 millimeter lens and you can see i showed you both perspective from the wide to the close-up i think that if i had done this again i would have brought maybe the 90 as well or maybe a 135 uh, minota lens i also have vintage to use on the sl just to add a little bit more uh, dynamic to the photos a little bit more punch in Also made me feel more comfortable more at home when seeing other photographers I got to see a variation of people from different ethnicity I got to see some Koreans I, I saw some Europeans from Belgium I, I also saw some Americans and slash somebody was from South South America I think it was uh, Argentina or Brazil they were all exploring the architecture they were photographer or fans of the show of squid games that 
the reason that brought them there. Seeing all those photographers walking around, the architecture, those, those uh, people that were fans of the show, motivated me to think beyond the hero shot. Think beyond just capturing that one image that is gonna define or break your experience of this uh, architecture. I put myself outside of that perspective and I said, I'm here to capture moments, I'm here to capture story, this is why I capture as many photos as possible, whether wide or tight in, because it adds to my experience of me being there in the moment. All the photos that I capture from my own perspective and to you looking into it, into my perspective, might be a different um, answer. I think that the heroes, the hero shots were all the photos that I was able to capture and adds on to my perspective or my experience. The moral of the story that I'm trying to sell you or I'm trying to motivate you to is think beyond that one image that will define you. I really had a great time exploring the Muralla Roja at a much slower pace. It was just doing some city urban exploration, something that I used to do in, in the States. And the fact that I was here to capture these moments it just tops it for 2023. I'm already looking forward to what's next, basically. And these are photos that I'm gonna add them to my memory box and I will always will never forget this experience. Before I leave and before I sign off, I wanna say congratulations to the channel for 2000 subscribers. You guys made this a whole lot special. It's not about the numbers, it's about the community. It's about my me and sharing my story to you, with you guys. I'm not trying to be you no know, Peter McKinnon or no Casey Nice that I'm just a regular guy that likes to take photos and I like to share them with you. And I also am doing this for myself when I get a much older, I wanna see, see these videos, I wanna share this with my son, I wanna share with this people around my family to see it, that I'm doing well, I'm doing okay, I'm just taking it one day at a time, capturing photos and doing what makes me happy and this makes me happy, capturing photo and recording it and basically capturing the story behind it. If you guys want to join my join me in my journey, you know what to do, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit, like, hit the like button down below. Let me know what are your thoughts of my city or building architecture exploration that i did what were some of your favorite photos that i was able to capture if you are interested in going to calpe spain just to visit this location be aware of that remember you're gonna take you're gonna go in there to explore the hell out of this building not for your comfort it was very uncomfortable from my own experience but i remind i reminded myself and i told my wife that it was all worth it because i was able to capture photos I was able to capture me uh, memories with, along with my wife. If it wasn't for that, then I don't think it would have been worth it. Other than that, guys, thank you so much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one. Peace.